Oh, hey there, I didn't see you. I was just chilling in my vegetation. We're in a new location today. This is our spare bedroom. It is an absolute sauna in here, let me tell you that for free. We have uh, builders all around the outside of the building, so I thought I would avoid them and come in here because I think this is the quietest room. Although you may be able to hear the drilling that's going on at the moment. So I do apologise if there's a little bit of background building work noise. Uh, I've also got my hair up today because as you may know, I'm trying to grow my hair into a bob. I probably say this like every single video, but I literally haven't cut it since I went to Hong Kong, which was I think in December. Um, my hair does grow fast, but it was in such a short like pixie crop with a fringe up here. If you watch my <laughs> previous videos, you will see the evolution of this hair. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get into a pixie crop, so it's not at its best stage at the moment it is very hard growing out a short hairstyle uh, so i just popped it up because now i can put it in this little kind of half ponytail situation that is exactly what i'm doing today i have a new in my wardrobe video combined with a little bit of a may favorites as well just because i haven't bought that much this month um and i love favorites videos i just think they're so interesting seeing what someone actually has loved and used throughout that month but yeah it's fashion and beauty so without much further ado let's get into it we'll start with my favorites and I I think we'll start with beauty products mainly because I've just used these so my beauty blender which I did actually clean for you even though you can see a little bit of a mark there okay so I was calling my real technique sponge a beauty blender it's not a beauty blender this is a beauty blender beauty blender is like the black the brand but there's like beauty sponges which you can buy from boots and like a whole host of other brands i finally got my hands on a real beauty blender and oh my goodness what was i doing what was i doing <laughs> with another sponge was i out of my mind these are so much better so i use those like orange real techniques sponges thought i was living my best beauty blending life i was not these are so much squidgier because you can squeeze this up so much you can get really into the nose into the under eye and the flat kind of rounded bottom is really good for applying foundation probably everyone knows what beauty blender is but whether or not you're using an actual beauty blender is another story okay so next up is a very new product for me and it's the touche Clair le tente foundation from ysl looks a little bit like this this is shade bd40 which is a shade i absolutely love i hate it when uh, makeup artists match you and they make it really really light i know they're trying to match you to something but I always find they make it way too light. I was at a YSL breakfast launch recently and the girl was so good at matching my skin color. So I really, really liked the shade she picked for me and I also really love this foundation. It's like their middle ground in terms of coverage. It's not like the high coverage and it's not like a very low coverage. Very medium coverage, but I actually really like it. I think it's very buildable. So if you wanted to uh, make it a little bit more full coverage, you definitely could. It's like a satiny finish. It's just a mix between matte and dewy. I really, really, really enjoy this. And I think you can make it what you want to make it. If you want to make it more matte, you can put some more powder on. I just really enjoyed this. Another new launch, and it's actually something that I didn't know that I would like, but it is one of the highlighters from the Armani Neo Nude collection, which is new. And it's basically, I love like packaging, everything's so nice. It comes out of this, it's a little like applicator and i don't know how well you can see this in this light it's a really natural finish kind of thing it's not going to be completely blinding although it looks pretty blinding there but it's something that i wear i'm not wearing it today i'm wearing the laura geller kind of powder highlight but it's a much more natural finish more kind of dewy wet look kind of skin with a little sheen like when i've really blended it in it's a lot more kind of sheeny you like that for the days that you're wearing new makeup so next up is a product from mac i've literally just spritzed this all over me so i'm probably looking very shimmery right now this is the fix plus spray in gold light i haven't actually tried any of their other fix plus sprays so i have nothing to compare it to i love this so i probably am gonna love the other fix plus so this is the same as the other ones but it just has some gold flecks in it as you can probably see they're kind of whirring around in there it's just got little tiny bits of sparkle in there it just gives you a nice golden summer look which i really like and i was worried that it would literally put sparkles all over my face and everywhere but it does not do that it's really really nice and they're tiny tiny little beads of sparkle and they really spread nicely so it's not like a whole clump of glitter on your face you can spray as much fix plus as you like and you still don't look like a sparkly bauble okay let's move on to fashion favorites sorry i've written like a list here so i don't forget anything so these are my favorites these aren't new in yet you probably will have seen this a million times so you'll know this isn't new in but the reason i wanted to include it is because i literally wear it all the time may was the comeback of this dress i bought it this year and i think this is probably my most worn dress this year it's my go-to it's really really comfortable and i get so many compliments 
from people saying that they like it. I love the way it kind of gives you a nice figure. I love the ruffles, I love the details. I love the neckline and it's just from H&M. It was so cheap. I think it was, it was under 20 pounds, but I will leave it linked in the description box because it's still online. There's really nice floral print to it, which I'm a big fan of. I love pink. I love all of the details, which I think is something that makes it look that little bit more expensive with a nice little cute necklace. And you can also wear it with over the knee boots or some cute little sandals. It's a staple in my wardrobe and one that I get a lot of compliments and questions about. Next up is a coat that you probably will have seen before. It is from Bershka. Bershka is new to me. Bershka, I have two things from Bershka and I went in once in my whole life. So I need to go back to Bershka. I bought this trench coat, which you will have seen in a previous haul. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love this. It's just a classic trench. It looks a lot more expensive than Bershka. It has this really nice kind of red stripe down the sides and on the back it says inspirational in the same print. Don't ask me why. I didn't actually notice that. I'm not much of a slogan girl, but I actually quite like it. Doesn't offend me. I quite like the fact that it says something on the back. Inspirational, it's not, I mean, it's better than what it could have been. I mean, I wouldn't choose to put anything on the back, but it's there doesn't offend me so really really useful it's great for days like we have at the moment where there's like a little bit of rainfall but it's not exactly cold it tends to go with everything too i've worn this over the top of like long dresses i've worn it over really i've worn it like with jeans and this kind of top just everything seems to go really nicely with this i literally wear it all the time another favorite that you probably will have seen in my urban outfitters haul is this little crop top it has these cute little spaghetti straps here that just cross over it's really nice and stretchy it's a really cute sparkly nude crop top it goes really well with pretty much everything anything high-waisted underneath something it's just a really handy thing that i'm so glad that i bought really really flattering i love the kind of minimalistic look of the straps um, you don't need to wear a bra because it's really nice and tight and supportive it means you don't have any kind of horrible thick bra straps when you have just these nice little thin straps next up are a pair of sunglasses you probably saw these in my lux for less video i'm obsessed with these these are actually a very good gucci dupe i didn't actually know this when i bought them i bought them from a souvenir shop near where i live in the cotswolds i think they were like 18 pounds or something but the gucci ones are somewhere in the region of 580 pounds and they look pretty much exactly the same as these but i didn't know that when i got them uh it was only after everyone told me but i would love them regardless of whether or not they were a dupe these are so cute and i found it pretty much the exact same pair on ebay so i will leave those in the description box down below obsessed i love them from one pink thing to another something else i'm loving are these pink boots from topshop really love these because they make a statement but they're extremely comfortable i'm very bad at walking in heels i haven't really taken the label off very well have i ow i wore these yesterday um in the rain and they were perfectly fine in the rain it was absolutely torrential rain wearing like an all white outfit with these pink boots i think it looks really really nice i'll try and insert a clip of that don't know if you can see the boots that well but because the heel's quite low they're extremely comfortable i think they fit people really well with wide feet i have kind of wide feet and they fit me perfectly and because this bit is really nice and elasticated it means they don't come off you stay securely on your ankle and really really comfortable easy to walk in there's all of my beauty and fashion favorites done so now let's move on to the stuff that is new in my wardrobe first up is a pair of pajamas i love pajamas i'm the kind of girl that as soon as i come in from my day the makeup comes off my clothes come off i'm straight into pajamas i have a really cute pair of kind of blush pink silky pajamas from this place called lays uh, they're just like classic pajamas. I actually might wear this out. I love this shirt. Just classic pajamas with a little, little pocket here. Nice white kind of stripes up in. Cute little buttons. They also have the matching shorts, which I have to say, I got two sizes, so I do have the small, but these are the medium. I thought I would be a medium and I'm not. They're really big for me. Luckily, they have a drawstring so you can kind of tighten it. I'm just not into being in small pajamas for the nighttime. I'd rather be in something massive. But I love the way these look. They're so cute, so comfortable, and like a really, really nice quality. They also came with a little eye mask. I do actually wear an eye mask at night, so that to me is ideal. Next new thing I actually need to put in the wash because I did wear these yesterday. This is the outfit that I was talking about with my pink boots. I wore this pair of white trousers that I got from Zara. They have this really nice stripe down them. I actually bought these in red a while ago. I ended up not keeping them because I wasn't sure about them. Bought them in white instead. They have got a little bit dirty on the bottom from the rain yesterday, but they did pretty good. This nice little kind of stripe down the side. It's really nice, sophisticated. A little bit of a sports luck vibe, but it also elongates your legs. They're nice and long and long enough to wear with heels. I love the fact it's got an elasticated waistband. It does do up with like little 
hooks and a zip but it's also elasticated around the waistband so it's never going to cut into your stomach. It's the kind of style that I like. It's really sleek, elongating and sort of a sophisticated look. And the next thing that's new in my wardrobe is actually something that I wore with that outfit too. It is a bandeau style top with lots of ruffles on the sleeve. It's elasticated around the bottom too so it stays nice and tight so you don't need to worry about lifting up your arms and exposing yourself from underneath. It's actually from a brand called Toby, T-O-B-I and I've got a couple of tops from there and I'm absolutely loving them. They're really nice statement tops. This I find super comfortable because this is wide enough for my shoulders. It's not like restraining me in. I found this extremely comfortable to wear and it stayed put. Like I could lift my arms. I could do stuff yesterday and I didn't feel at all restricted. It's a really, really comfortable top and it was in a small. So yeah, really like this. And another top from Toby. It is this really cute little kind of blush pink top with clear sleeves again bandeau style which i really like these sleeves are not tight to my arms at all but because they're kind of harder they stay put nicely which i actually think is really flattering and makes your arm look slimmer it's elasticated so it stays up nicely and i just really love this kind of style at the moment bandeau and cropped goes really nicely with some high-waisted trousers two new in dresses and the first one is also from toby it is a long black maxi dress with like cut out detail i'll have to try this on for you not that amazing quality but i was intending to wear this for around the pool something easy to throw on on holiday so it's sort of perfect for what i was thinking really easy dress and something that i could definitely see myself trucking on most days on holiday and then the final thing is a dress that i bought in a place called sirencester which is in the cotswolds near me so it's, it's actually like a boutique shop for they sort of sell vintage stuff i was actually looking for a couple of outfits for goodwood revival which is a car show and everyone on dresses in like really old-fashioned stuff they sell really nice vintage stuff in this shop in Sirencester but they also sell other stuff and I ended up not buying any vintage things and buying this maxi dress which I know looks a little bit kind of crazy print when you walk it just opens up with all of these kind of patterns they did lots of different colors I think my mum bought a bright orange it's just a kind of halter neck maxi dress which actually looks really really elegant when you've got it on I know the animal print is not for everyone and it's not usually thought of as being hugely elegant but I actually think this is an amazing dress it was reduced from 65 pounds to 30 I'm not sure if they have a, oh actually I asked I asked if they had a website but I think they do most of their sales on Facebook because most of it is vintage clothes so if you are looking for some vintage clothes they are a really good place to go to. This brings us to the end of my video I hope you guys liked it I will leave all of the products in the description box down below if you would like to get your hands on them. I feel like I've spoken real fast but um, I think it's because it's very hot in this room and I had a lot to get through so I do apologize for that I hope I haven't been too crazy fast i know i'm a fast speaker i do i do apologize i mean i could film this all again i feel like that's not gonna happen so i have regrets i have regrets about speaking too fast in this video so i really hope you guys didn't mind um but if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video